What's up everybody, Drew right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're going to be talking about a recent event that literally caught everyone off guard. I was getting a bunch of comments in my comment section about how they could not find the game on Steam. The game just up and vanished, and they really didn't know why. I didn't actually believe that it was true until I actually looked at it. And uh, yeah, as of the 16th of June, if you were to type in Ready or Not, it would not show up. I tried to see if I could actually find an alternate way to find the game, and no, it just wasn't possible. People had actually thought that the game got pulled from Steam, but in actuality, it was, well, unlisted? Yeah, the game was still on Steam because I still had it in my library and I could still boot it up, but if you were to search for the store page, it would come up empty. The only way that you could actually find it is if you actually had the link to the Steam page itself, but if you were to look it up, it would come up as uninitialized. Huh, that's odd. I was kind of wondering what the hell was going to happen next, and I was wondering what Void Interactive was going to do. So I can't imagine them not doing anything about this. This. Cue that video from Spongebob where Squidward is like, oh no, who's gonna sign my paycheck? Unlike clockwork, Void Interactive drops a tweet saying, Attention officers, as you may have noticed, Ready or Not is temporarily missing an action from the Steam store page. We're looking into this with Steam, and we'll have an update for our players very soon. Man, after this, the rumor mill was running wild. I was seeing so many things that people were saying, I kind of want to go over them. And just to be clear, this is just all the rumors that I saw. We'll get to the actual reason after all these rumors. The first one that I saw was Steam took down this game because of shootings, citing how Ready or Not somehow worships cops, or it was a technical issue on Steam's end that accidentally hid Void's page, or because Void Interactive was selling keys on a different website than Steam, Steam wanted more of that cut, so they stopped giving Void Steam keys to force them to come back to Steam. The same thing seemed to happen to other games like SCP Pandemic Operation Harsh Doorstop, but not quite sure why this rumor would affect their store page. Other people said that it was because of the school shooter mission. According to journalists, it was because maybe Maybe one of the bad guys was wearing a Nike suit or something. People were literally going nuts because they wanted to buy the game. Well, that and there were also those other people that were like, well, I'm glad this game is getting taken down because this type of video game is violent and it worships police. Like, shut the fuck up. Get out of here. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. How many times do I have to tell you, old man? Video games do not cause violence. There's been so many fucking studies that it's not even worth bringing up. Like, I was seeing so much crap that I had to just stop and say, we don't know the actual reason. Why why don't we all just calm down and wait for Void Interactive to come out with a statement? And by Jovi, they did. It goes as follows. To the Ready or Not community, we'd like to address the rumors surrounding the takedown of Ready or Not and its associated pages on Steam that occurred on Thursday, June 16th. A takedown request was issued via Steam concerning a suggested trademark infringement in our recent nightclub map that was shared as a part of our most recent Steam page. We take IP concerns very seriously, and in a show of good faith, we have decided to remove the subject materials and any reference to them from Ready or Not and any form of our social media or other publications. Ready or Not will return to the Steam store. Once we completed the changes, we have also removed the AI update video from our YouTube channel and from our Steam store page and anticipate that these will be restored after an editing process is completed. Sincerely, the Void Interactive team. Yeah, so basically, someone filed a type of copyright claim on Steam and Steam was like, Void Interactive, you gotta get this shit solved, so we're gonna stop your game right here right now. And According to the developers, it had to do with some material that was featured in the nightclub, although they did not elaborate on what material they were referring to, but they did everything possible to try to get rid of whatever it was. They took down all the pictures that featured nightclub, took down the AI video that had like over 200,000 views, which probably doesn't matter to Void, but to me it's like, man, that's a fuck ton of views that just went bye-bye. When everything was all said and done, they put the video back up, but it's basically started from scratch right now. I'm sure it'll get a lot of views still, but probably not as much as it had previously. Probably. They updated the game so that it no longer features the copyrighted material, and that was that. A couple hours after that, they ended up bringing back both the supporter and the regular edition on Steam for people to purchase, and everything was just fine. Again, Void Interactive said that there was actually trademark infringement in the game. They'll probably never tell us what they removed, but I think I have a pretty good idea. And it has to do with this right here. According to one of my subscribers, Prism is actually a trademark, and it's apparently a pretty big 
big one at that in the UK. How Void Interactive thought that they could get away with this is beyond me. I think I even saw that the logo kind of looked the same. This is probably their biggest misstep that I've seen from the studio. And I've seen a lot of missteps from the studio. But nowhere they could actually get sued. I mean, at least they got it solved before it got any worse. Yeah, so anything that was related to Prism has now been changed to Neon. And honestly, that's probably for the best. And that's pretty much how Ready or Not got deleted from Steam. It was an interesting two days, not gonna lie. But man, people were going freaking nuts over it. If there's anything that I learned about this experience, it's that at any time, at any day, Steam could just nuke a game without telling anybody why. Now I get why there's people that like to preserve games. But anyways, I just thought that I'd make a video to tell you what happened because I had a bunch of information. So I was like, eh, might as well. And that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Do all the bells and whistles that help this channel grow. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.